Hello there guys, I hope everyone is doing well. Today, a new video on how to improve your Mac performance or speed up your Mac. This is the second one that I'm making and the topic today is how to delete your applications properly, okay? First of all, uh, we tend to accumulate a, a lots and lots and lots of applications and uh, now I don't do that but in the beginning I tend to download applications and then I forgot and they were all, always on my on my computer and I was losing space losing performance okay um, and of course nowadays I have the applications that I need and when I don't need that application I simply delete it uh, usually what we tend to do is grab the application let's go ahead and grab this one and simply put it in the trash and the only thing that you have is the application and we tend to believe that we are deleting the application and period that's not correct okay why because I will demonstrate let's put this again because I don't want to delete this Let's close this window. Uh, I have here an application, uh, a third party application that I will leave in the, um, in the description below. It's already here on, the, on this website. Okay, I will leave in the link, in the link, in the link uh, below. It's called App Cleaner. And what this app does is fetch all the, the, the um, the folders or extensions that are related to the application that you want to delete. So grabbing the same one, it was Airfoil, I go to App Cleaner and now I see that I have not only the app, as you can see, but also I have aggregated two more P lists, okay, that were on my library and I didn't know. And that's this is what I do when I want to delete an application. I tend to grab the app, put it on the app cleaner. It will fetch everything that is related to the application. And then I click remove and it goes to the trash can okay, or trash bin. I will cancel because I don't want to do that, but we'll make another demonstration again. Uh, if you want to delete Final Cut, okay, if I drag it to the trash, I only I only have, as you can see, Final Cut, correct? So the app, let's put it again on the same. This is my application folder that I have here on the dock, the Snow Leopard style, Leopard style. Let's go ahead and grab Final Cut and put it on the app cleaner. Now you can see lots and lots of files and folders that are associated with Final Cut. So this is the app. These are all the folders and extensions associated to the real application. Okay. So if you delete only this one, all of those will be still on your computer. So you are losing space, losing performance and everything and creating, you know, corruptions in your hard drive, lots and lots of things. So guys, this is in fact what I use uh, in a regular basis when I want to delete some application that I don't use. Uh, off topic, uh, there are, of course, and I told you this in the beginning, but uh, I will repeat myself. Uh, on the beginning, I was avid for having all the applications. And of course, we don't need, I, I didn't need all that applications. And of course, now I tend to use only what I need. And when I don't, I see that application is there for one month, two months or three months, it's, it's better to delete it. And if I need it, I'll go ahead and download it, download it again. So guys, a small tip. Uh, on how to delete your apps properly. I hope you like it. If you did, put your thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Uh, this is the second episode that I launched on improved Mac performance. There are others on the way. If you are not subscribed, again, click on that red button. Um, 
to be notified and also to be notified there is a little bell you click if you want to be notified on new videos of from this channel and uh, there is also my social uh, links below on the description uh, I will leave Twitter and you will be notified also by Twitter if you want uh, and I also will leave in the description the the link for this app it's a free application that you can use and keep it on your dock and it's a very very good application so guys i hope you like this kind of videos and i'll see you on the next one bye bye